Hi everyone, welcome to our continuing series of solutions to contest problems uh, sent to me by students, faculty, etc. Uh, this problem comes courtesy of one of my former students, Austin Fernley. Uh, and so he asks, uh, how do we prove that 1 plus twice the cube root of 3 is greater than 3 times the cube root of 2? Uh, of course, you can just put this into a calculator, and if you do, it becomes very obvious that one side is bigger than the other. But perhaps you're a little worried that the calculator maybe is making some mistakes because of floating point arithmetic or something. Uh, so we're going to give a, a real proof uh, that the left side is greater than the right side here. And what we're going to use is the AMGM inequality. So... If you haven't seen it before, the AMGM inequality is a very versatile tool, especially useful for uh, solving a lot of uh, contest problems of this type. And what it's going to say is that if you have a bunch of non-negative numbers and you take their average, okay, so here I'm going to assume x1 through xn are non-negative, uh, then the average of those numbers, that's where the AM is coming from, this is the arithmetic mean, is going to be greater than or equal to the nth root of the product of those numbers. And this is on the right-hand side what's called the geometric mean. Uh, now, very often you want to rearrange this slightly. Uh, so you might, for example, multiply both sides by n so that you're just looking at the sum so then this will be at least as big as n times the nth root of the product. Uh, also worth pointing out here is that e uh, equality only occurs, so it only occurs when all of the x1 through xn are equal. So otherwise this will be a strict inequality. So in this case, what I'm going to do is, is let my, my x1 through xn, well, there's going to be three numbers, and they're going to be 1, the cube root of 3, and the cube root of 3. So there's three numbers. And so by the AMGM inequality, and actually I know it's a strict inequality because the three numbers are not all the same. Two of them are, but not all three. This will be greater than 3 times the cube root of the product of these three numbers. All right, so let's see. I have one time, well, okay, the one's not going to matter. I have the cube root of three times the cube root of three. That will be the cube root of nine. Right. So I now have a lower estimate on this one plus the cube root of three. Okay, well, let's look at this here. This bit, actually, the cube root of a cube root, that's actually the ninth root. So I actually get the ninth root of nine here. And here's a little observation about the ninth root of 9. If I take the ninth root of 9 and raise it to the ninth power, well, of course, this will be 9. And 9 is absolutely, don't worry about that floating point arithmetic, greater than 8. Now, why, why is that relevant? It's also greater than 7 and 6 and 5, but why do I care about it being greater than 8? Well, it's because 8 is what would I would get if I took the cube root of 2 and raised it to the ninth power. That cube root of two is something showing up on the right-hand side. So this tells me that when I raise the ninth root of nine to the ninth power, I get something bigger than if I take the cube root of two to the ninth power. And so I can conclude that the ninth root of nine is greater than the cube root of two. Of course, if I multiply everything by three, then three times the ninth root of 9 will be greater than 3 times the cube root of 2. But 3 times the ninth root of 9 is precisely what I had on the right-hand side here. This was 3 times the ninth root of 9, and now I know that's greater than 3 times the cube root of 2. And so in total, my original expression on the left, 1 plus twice the cube root of 3, is greater than 3 times the cube root of 2. Thanks a lot for the, the problem, Austin. I had a lot of fun solving it.